Hello, welcome back to the Optimal Performance Summit. I'm your host, Dr. Patrick Porter. Today, we're going to bring you as our next guest, our educational director at BrainTap Technologies, uh, Michael Porter, who's my brother. And he educates the doctors on how to use our BrainTap HRV, and it, which is better known as a data pulse analysis. And you're going to know why as we go through these case studies and show you how you can use this as an assessment tool in your practice. So we'll start here with the first slide. What is HRV? So most people know about HRV nowadays. It's just that heart rate variability, how variable the heart is. So depending on how variable the heart is, it's more adaptable. And we're going to show that with the slides today. But probably the biggest thing, as you can see here, is that it found its way outside of cardiology as a predictor of overall health because the body's ability to adapt and regulate stress. So the stress is probably the root cause of 70 to 90 percent of the chronic illness and what we found with this is a lot of times when things are visible this makes it visible so that's what we're going to show today the power of the brain tap pre and post and it's really the brain tap hrv is a simple and easy test it takes four or five minutes and you can see by this diagram one goes on the right wrist the other goes on the left all we need is 300 heartbeats. Once we have the 300 heartbeats, we've got a completed test. And that'll give us all the data and information that we're going to go over in 13 different slides today or different tabs that are on the BrainTap HRV. So the ECG part with the clips, as you can see on this top one here, we're going to get 300 of these heartbeats. And the main thing it's looking for is how variable it is. Well, it's hard to tell with these heartbeats how variable it is but we have a rhythmogram that you can see below it. This one here, you can see how variable looks like a New York skyline. That's a very variable heart rate. Down below, this person's going to have a little more problems. There's no variability in the heart rate, no adaptability. They're not going to be able to deal with stress well. And we're going to show you that in a few of these slides today. So this is the first slide that we really come to when we're looking at the scan. And it's going to show how the autonomic nervous system's regulating. In this pie, you'll see a green, yellow, and red. The green, which is the high frequency, is the parasympathetic. The yellow is the sympathetic. The red is the neurohormonal, or some doctors and practitioners call it the HPA axis, the hypothalamus pituitary and adrenal. But that would be your backup system. And we're going to show you in a couple slides of what it should look like. But for most people, they're going to be yellow. They're going to be oversympathetic and fight or flight. And when that wears out, the red, which we're going to show you, is what we typically see nowadays. People have their backup system running. And that's adrenal fatigue and adrenal failure. So optimally, we should see 75% of the autonomic nervous system running everything, the green and yellow. They should be 50-50 and then 75%. And then just a little bit of the red, as you can see here. This right here is what we would like to see in an optimal range. This is what we normally see in younger people. As they get older, it looks more like this. Their backup system's running everything. And this green one could be an athlete, or if the numbers are really low, it's someone who's burned out. So though, what we see here with a brain tap session, 11% here on the parasympathetic and a good boost up to 26% parasympathetic. And this is just one session. So you can see the value of what BrainTap can offer to get this nervous system back to balance. And typically this is gonna last 24 to 48 hours, maybe up to 72 hours. And when we're at shows, we get to scan people for three days. They get to hold the baseline a little bit and then we get to show them how their baseline goes up and we can keep raising them up each day. Now this next one that we're looking at is the stress index. So depending on how imbalanced the nervous system, how stressed and fatigued their brain is, how low their energy metabolism, they may have more stress. So you can see here on this stress index, it should be somewhere between 10 and 100. And we've got this over a thousand. Now we were able to lower it right here under 500. So 
in one session, we were able to drop their stress 500 points. On this other one, we've got a person here that was 511 and we dropped him down here. You know, almost cut this in half. So one of the things that we can do with this HRV, a lot of patients don't know where their stress levels are at. We can show them. Most people we find are about three, four, 500 points above where they should be. So it's a good wake up call for them and it allows us now to keep them more engaged in care. Now, a couple other examples. We've got someone, this is probably typically what we see, someone with 352 on their stress index. We lowered it down to 144 in one session. Now, even if someone has low stress to begin with, like we can see in this bottom one with 31, we were even able to lower that person down to 18. So the key point here is people are looking for a solution for stress. Meditation's out there. It's on the cover of magazine. People see it every month. But what BrainTap offers them, the ability to lower this stress without having to practice or learn how to meditate. And this is just a 20-minute session. So again, being able to show the person where their stress is is important because most people don't know. It's been invisible to them. This next tab that we can show them on the HRV is where their neurohormonal regulation is. So all that is, is where's their energy metabolism? So on most of these tabs, we're going to show you between 50 and 100 is the normal range. So this person was at 54. We raised him up to 67. Their energy was at 115. We raised it up to 174. You want that energy, at least in the normal range, to be 150 to 200. So for most people, they're not getting the meditation. They're not getting the sleep. They're not getting the exercise. These are all three ways to boost neural hormones. Sleep, exercise, meditation, and of course, diet. Getting the amino acids and essential fatty acids to help make those neural hormones. So this tab also, if you're doing weight loss, can be very important because a lot of people are exercising and they're eating right. But if they don't deal with stress and they don't do the meditation like BrainTap offers, they can't boost these neurohormones to boost their metabolism and their energy. We're going to show you a couple examples of what that looks like here. So we've got a person coming in and their neurohormonal regulations at three, and it should be above 50. Now with one session, we were able to raise them to 12. Another person here at 23, we're able to raise them at 50. So these are the classic people we have coming in that don't have a lot of energy. They can't drive their system. Brain tap can help move this energy up. And really what we can do is here's a person who's at 88. We moved them up to 100. Their energy was at 527. We moved them up to 676. So you can see with the brain tap, you can be pretty high already at 88. We can move you up to 100. And what this tabs, what these tabs show you here, most people's neurohormonal regulation is disrupted or unstable in these areas. This is where we normally see people. Our goal is to get them up into this normal range, eventually get them up to the stable range. And if they stay with us long enough, we can get them up in this optimal range. So again, boosting these neurohormones help with optimal performance. The more energy, the more metabolism you have, the better you're going to be able to perform. And just to give you an example, we we're talking about weight loss. We have someone here at 174. They've got 78. They're burning 96. What we typically see in the office is 90 here. Someone has 60 and they're only burning 30. So we know with brain tap, we can boost these neurohormones. We can help them sleep so they can boost their neurohormones. And if we can get them exercising regularly, then we can show them. And the value with the HRV is we're showing pre and post now, but when we show someone four weeks later, eight weeks later, 12 weeks later, we can continue to show the improvement. And the other benefit with weight loss is back 20 years ago when someone wasn't losing, the scale didn't move, they got discouraged and didn't think it was working. With this equipment, we can show them that their stress is going down, their energy is going up, but it's not at the right levels yet and it's getting there. So we can keep them engaged in care. 
we can keep them motivated, we keep them inspired. Because again, the scale is not the only barometer, but some people use it that way. Now this one is gonna show the client or the patient where their brain's at. And what it's basically showing, it's a psychoemotional tab, but it's showing is the brain stressed and fatigued or it is in balance. So we've got someone here at just below 60 and we raised him up to 80. And this is what the brain weave look like here. This 62 is pretty much what we see on a regular basis. We're gonna show that in a minute. But this is a person's got about 50% of their brain asleep. Now we've got about 10% of their brain asleep. We've got theta back to where it belongs. We've got all this alpha and beta and gamma. So again, all this brainwave activity in just one second. And we woke this person up, we've got them focused, we got them alert, and we got them energized. This is an example, typically what we see, a person comes in, their psycho-emotional state's at 13, they're under stress, we just boost it up to 69. Again, here's a person with about 40% of their brain wanting to be asleep. Now we've got about 7% of that brain wanting to be asleep. We've got theta where it needs to be, we've got alpha, we've got beta, and we've got gamma. So good brain wave activity here, a good boost of gamma also from 2% to 17%. Now, what we want to see here is again, a good balanced brain wave. And with most people, they're going to come in here because they didn't get deep restful, they're uninterrupted sleep. They're not meditating. They're not exercising regularly. They're not eating good. Their brain can't engage or disengage from these states. So the good thing with brain tap is we can give them an AM session, an alpha session, an SMR session, and boost this alpha and beta. So it's just physics. If we can get more of these brain waves activated, we're going to have less of this, and they're not going to be walking around sleepwalking in fog, brain fog. So this is what a normal brain wave looks like. You've got 2% of the delta, 20% or lower of theta, alpha 20 to 30%, beta should be 30 to 40%, and 5 to 10% here with the gamma. So a typical client comes in here at 28%. They're in this nervous overstrain. So we either see people with high stress, nervous overstrain, or accumulated tiredness. We want to get them up into this balance range, then up here into this stable range. And again, like we said, if they stay with us long enough, we can get them up into this optimal range. But typically what we're seeing here, this is the brainwave pattern. We typically see 70% of the time. And we do 30 plus shows a year, probably scan a thousand people. And this is pretty much what we see. Now, this is the tab that most people really like because it's gonna show you based on where your stress was, where your nervous system was, balanced or unbalanced, your energy, metabolism, how your brain was functioning, how all those things are doing are going to gauge whether you're prematurely aging or reversing the process. And in this example, we've got a person here who is prematurely aging. Here's their age. Now they're at 61 years old. Now after one session, we lowered that down to where they're more like a 48-year-old. This fractal analysis tab is really a coherence. How coherent are all those systems we just looked at a minute ago? How in sync are they? How in harmony are they? They weren't in harmony at all at 14%. Now we've got them close to 60%. And these are a couple of examples of what we see. Here's someone who's 57 years old. They, did, they were pretty good and we pre-scanned them with the brain tap 10 years younger. Now we've got them almost 30 years younger in one session. 57-year-old, now more like a 30-year-old. And the other example here, we've got a person here about five years older than they should be after the session. Now we've got them four years younger. So the key with brain tap is we can reduce the stress, get people sleeping better, balance their nervous system so it can self-regulate.